Welcome to Storybooks Network Channel. Perhaps there is a true genius hiding beneath that negative perception of yourself that your bad habits have given you. In case you didn't know, Thomas Alva Edison was told he was too stupid to learn anything. Bill Gates didn't finish college, and Albert Einstein struggled with algebra. They and many other people we regard as great brains nevertheless accomplished amazing achievements in spite of not quite living up to social expectations. Everyone may be struggling with negative habits or trying to break them. For example, procrastinating or keeping a cluttered desk are examples of these poor behaviors. These kinds of statistics may be used to rationalize mediocrity, but the truth is that while they may not have excelled in all of their disciplines, they didn't spend their afternoons binge-watching movies and eating chips. They went about living their lives and pursuing their hobbies as they saw fit. So how can one determine if someone is a genius without having to wait for history to do so? Yes, there are IQ tests like those to determine your level of intelligence, but you can also determine your level of intelligence by examining your poor habits. These behaviors may be seen unfavorably, however a study has found that some poor behaviors may be a sign of our intelligence and well-being. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell symbol, then select all notifications to never miss a video upload from us. Procrastinating it's not only about procrastination or taking pride in not taking care of what needs to be done. We frequently use spending our time as a tactic to get out of doing our chores. Even though you may not be aware of it, your brain is actually searching for quicker and more practical answers to a certain issue. Daydreaming. Despite what your boss or teachers may say, allowing your mind to wander while you work or study could be a beneficial thing. In fact, allowing yourself to think will help you get things off your mind and out of the way, which is excellent if your profession involves a lot of creativity. Being messy. Being messy at home or at work doesn't make you the world's worst person. A University of Minnesota study found that people who are surrounded by mess all the time tend to have clearer goals and prefer achieving them than fretting about a clean place they know will become filthy again. In other words, individuals are able to prioritize their own priorities. Cursing. If you're one of those persons who can't finish a sentence without adding a swear word, you should be aware that there might be a profound and in-depth understanding of the language hidden behind those words. Or at least that is the conclusion of a study conducted by scientists at Marist College in the U.S. Consistently being late. The tendency to be extremely optimistic is one of the most significant characteristics that bright people share. Being snarled up in traffic? Extra time to concentrate on their objectives. Therefore, it is quite natural and understandable if you are one of those people who consistently arrive late due to other commitments. Oversleeping. We now know that one of the main reasons brilliant people oversleep is that they have a tendency to stay awake all night thinking, thanks to a study done by the London School of Economics and Political Science. Additionally, it is an issue that is evolving. Our generation engages in activities that can only be done at night, according to the same study that compares our generation to other generations. Being fearful. There is no question that bright people view things from different angles. Additionally, this viewpoint can occasionally be extremely complex, which causes people to experience entirely natural anxiety about the future and the direction of their life. A lot of argument. We must first clarify that arguing is not the same as forcing your beliefs on others. Good IQ people would never engage in pointless debates because they view conflict as an opportunity to learn about and appreciate opposing viewpoints on a subject they may be very knowledgeable about or are attempting to dominate. Consuming alcohol. Similar to using narcotics, drinking is not a particularly wholesome habit. High IQ individuals are, nevertheless, more likely to experience problems with alcoholism in the future, per data from the British Cohort Study. 
The term, bad habit, is perhaps harsh because it describes behaviors that are not accepted by society. What is genuine is that for those who don't really care about societal conventions, some of these behaviors may truly be normal and comprehensible habits. Additionally, just thinking you accomplish all of these things doesn't make you a genius or justify your lethargy. No matter what our goals are, we must all work hard to attain them, and as these historical geniuses demonstrate, our habits are the least significant factor in doing so. In the upcoming videos, we'll look at various topics. Thank you for taking the time to watch our channel.